Hello, hello. Can you hear me? You, you, you are mute. I can see it. You are mute. Yeah. Hey, I can't good hear morning. you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. I have watched the video maybe 50 times. <laughs> That Merry Christmas, <laughs> Christmas video. I love in that boy. Yeah. I love in that boy. You know. Oh, that's yeah. too funny. I know he's <laughs> so cute. I've watched it about 50 times too. <laughs> you Where'd you find him? Just on Yeah, I just found it in my Facebook feed. I uh, just scrolling down and down. Oh my goodness. Uh, I just caught so and he, uh, he just shared it. I thought it, it, this uh, crazy boy was so exciting, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he, I love it when he kicks his chair back. That's the main point. Actually, this is the reason I just loved it. When he just kicked the chair. Yeah. And, he really, yeah. <laughs> and he really can sing as well because those high notes, you know, those singing, it's yes. really I mean, we can. Oh my also, goodness! We, we can. We can also sing a little bit, but when when it's come to the high notes, it's uh, it's like the toughest part, in singing. Because when you just right. go, when you just increase your pitch, you will just your pitch will be your voice will be cracked, and then it will be like a goal. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's young enough that he can hit those high notes, right? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's cute. oh, he was really getting into it, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. That's funny. So, okay, how is, so uh, uh, how is going everything? I mean, the family things, the Christmas thing. Good. Oh, good. It's going to be different this year because not everybody's coming because of, you know, everything that's going on in the world. But, um, mm -hmm. but it'll still be fun. It'll still be nice. I'm glad that, you know, um, most of us can get together. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'm, hang on one second. I, I just want to finish. Notes. I just got the notes. What did you say? I just got the notes to write down everything you were going to teach me. Ah, okay. So you, you got what, what you want to learn down? Um, just you I tell me what you tell me what words you. Okay, maybe uh, we should start. I um, heard you want to. Um, I heard you want to be a snarky speaker, right? Yeah, I want to be a snarky speaker, like you know the English people do. They have like answer of all the questions and all the, on people just speaking, and they know how to just snap people how do you just fight people yes. with the words they can fight with yes. people's words they don't have to fight physically i mean i mean right. sometimes i feel stupid when, when i speak with the people like when they say something and i don't understand i don't have the answer and i just can't think of something that will like you know and will be answer of that question and then i feel like oh this is not me I mean, I have to learn English, right? I have. <laughs> yeah. Talk with, so, yeah. So give me a give me an instance of something that you want a quick comeback. Mm -hmm. Like if so if somebody said something to you, what would you what would you want to be able to say something quick back to them? Okay. Uh, as you can, uh, as you can, yeah, see, uh. I speak a little bit. I mean, the thing that may be going on at the moment. But if if somebody asks me to uh, to just speak about something, I know. If somebody asks me mm -hmm. just uh, say about your feeling, what do you what what are you feeling at the moment? Or if somebody give me a scenario, okay, uh, explain. You know, okay. I just get stuck in that moment. I don't know how to explain those things. Um, yeah. Okay. 
So let's see. Um, so emotions, right? Yeah, emotions. Okay. So um, how about like I could give you um, alternative words for like um, happy mm -hmm. would be happy. And when you're happy and you act like you're, um, you know, snarky, like I said, is sarcastic. Mm -hmm. So snarky is sarcastic. Um, happy would be like um, happy or joyful. Um, you know that um, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, another word for happy is gay, but another word for gay is homosexual. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that can be the same word too. Um, if someone says, uh, like, how are you doing today? You can say, um, great or fabulous or wonderful. Um, you can say, okay. You can say, um, let's see. Let me see a, a quick combat. My girlfriend um, passed away probably about five years ago. She was the best. She had the quickest comebacks. So you would say something and she would just throw something right back at you, you know? So I think that's what you're looking for, right? I'm sorry to hear that. So your your girlfriend was... Oh, thank you. Uh, you... Yes. Um, I, I miss her, but she was so good. Like you would say something and she would just boom say something right back and it would be so funny you know it, it so may, yeah so it maybe comes when when a person read a lot the books you know because uh when, when you talk with someone and if you like uh if you don't know about the interest thing like the books and the movies you watch you know this is the thing yes. you speak so you, so that conversation go along with yeah i mean if you talk about something that are gonna that are gonna uh, last maybe a few hours or maybe a few minutes, then you have to just uh, you have to just go to the out of the box and then you have to speak something else. So that conversation mm -hmm. will go along. Yes, for a long time. So maybe yeah. a lot of things the movie, yep. the, the books you read, and when you talk with them and when you're interested, it is the same thing. Then it's like go for the long time the conversation. Yeah. Um, so the connection is a little bit bad. I got like this much of what you said. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's the connection, right? It's always the <laughs> it's always the internet issue. I don't know why, but I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. also, um I'm going to buy a I'm going to set up Wi-Fi in my room very soon. I just all the person he will he just said uh, it, it it would it, it will take a week. And it will be set up in the mind. Oh, gotcha. So do you ever watch YouTube? Because I need to do this too. They have some like boosters for your Wi-Fi to make your Wi-Fi be stronger or, or better or faster. Have you looked into those at all? Actually, I use my mobile internet, you know, the see my use. They have the data. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I only know the one thing that if I go to the fly mode, flight mode and then i go i go back i come back from the flight mode then it go very well you hear me okay yeah a little a little bit <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah so um give me an instance like if somebody says something to you what would you like give me give me an instance like someone says something to you and you don't know what to say back mm -hmm. If someone say like, uh, you know, um, like, uh, can you can you uh, can you express yourself? Can you just? Uh, uh, I just don't know. I just don't know. It's like you know, I I just can't speak out of the box. I mean, I just speak a little the things that are happening maybe right now. I can't give the okay. reference from something else. Oh, I, yes, 
I think you do very well, actually. I think you do very well because you laugh when things are funny, right? You you catch on when things are funny and you laugh. Um, but think during the day, like if somebody says something to you and you don't know how to respond, write that down. Yeah. And then next time you next time you talk to me, let me know and then I'll help you. Because I understand that's um I can't imagine speaking your language because I would have to just look at your your facial expressions to see, oh, okay, is he talking about something that's sad? I don't know any of your language's words. Yeah. yeah but still yeah. you can understand so, because of the facial expression. And um so maybe yes. maybe maybe this is the issue. Maybe I can't understand someone is speaking something. Maybe I have to observe their feelings, their facial expression and all this thing. I have to observe yeah. what you want to say. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. if somebody says something to you and you don't understand exactly what it is, write it down and ask me and, I, and I'll tell you what it means. Um, Because I know that sometimes like even when you would say um, push this button or whatever, I would have to be like, okay, I'd go all over the place until I realized what you were saying. And you said the right word, it was just um, a different, um, what do you call it? Your accent is a little different. Yeah. It's, so I had to figure out, okay, that's what he was talking about. Yeah, yeah. But um, so I can help you with that too. You know, like um, if you have a word and you don't, I'm trying to think, um, I'm trying to think of what it was when we were looking. Okay, the words, uh, uh, the words, uh, questions. I don't know how to pronounce it. Question. Is yes. It right? Yeah. Question. Yep. Question. It's question. Quest. Question. Yep. Question. So, the Q U is qua qua. So it's almost like a a, a Q W. It sounds like Q W. Q U is like Q W. Qua. 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 Yeah. Like okay. Q. The, the U is like a W E. So qua. Yeah. Yeah. So question. 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 Yep. Yeah, very good. Question. Yeah. Question. Question. Yep. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Question. Okay. Question. Like when you go on um sometimes they call like a journey or a trip a quest yep so it's a question questions questions, questions. you got it questions yep. questions questions okay so i question yeah i just left this s and i would say it's s uh, okay yeah. let, let, let me let me let me just uh speak the the all letters for okay right here. so it, mm -hmm. will, it will so you can you can know that uh, where i where i'm missing something like yeah a b c yeah yeah, D, yeah. E, mm -hmm. f G, f yep g h h Okay, H, H, I, yep. J, yep. K, yep. L, M, N, O, P, Q, yep. R, yep. S, D, U, P, W, X, Y, Z. Z. It, okay, <laughs> it, it, it's Z. It's yep. G. Yeah, Z. 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 Like like a like a bumblebee. Mm -hmm. Like a bee would sting you. It's Z. Z. Okay, it's G. It's G. Z. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay, so the uh, I I don't know the the word. Is is it is or 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 as? 
is like like um the coat is mm. in the closet is so it is a s but it sounds like a z does that make sense so it's is is yeah okay. i i s sounds like i z so i s is is okay got it it's is right yep yep uh, and, and the word only alphabet it's s s yep s. so s s can sound like s or z okay s okay like this yes like this or is what is mm. sounds like z but it's that's probably the only letter that sounds like z uh, does that make sense mm -hmm. and s h how do you pronounce s h s h s a so so it's like s h like be quiet okay and and only s only s like a snake okay so if i if i so, like uh, if i pronounce the words s o w and s h o w the, if, if i if i okay. if i s o w it's so so right so s o w is so show. s h o w is show like show is i'll show you something or a show can be like a movie we'll go to the show mm -hmm. does that make sense yep. sometimes we call a show a movie mm -hmm. or if i show you how to do something so it's got two different meanings mm -hmm. so it's like so and it show mm -hmm. so so would be like um like if you sew with the needle and in, in thread, mm -hmm. like if you sew some clothes, would be sew. Um, but that's spelled S E W. Mm -hmm. now I uh, I might know that S O E W. So do you do no, just S E W. Yep. Yeah, S E W. Show. Yep. So you miss. So. Yeah, it's like. Uh, clothing things like I know yes yeah the, the, the thing that I'm getting problem with is the pronunciation am I am yes I, yep. yeah. it's like it's pronun pronunciation is the same kind of as phonetics how it sounds mm. right yeah yeah vanity okay it, yeah so I'm getting the problem in so, like yes in a lot of times we have words that have many different meaning meanings yeah. like um there um do you have a pen yeah right t-h-e-r-e -E is over there like go over there um t-h-e-i-r is a different there it means um a person like that's a bulls that's their pen does that make sense mm -hmm. so yeah. there sounds the same but there's two different spellings and two different meanings mm -hmm. did you see my video on um lucy ricardo uh the video you shared yesterday no it was a black and white video also i'll find it and i'll send it to you where was but it you there's a, her husband she's white her husband is mexican mm -hmm. and she's pregnant and she tells her husband to read a story to her baby in her tummy 
So he's reading a story and there's many words that end with O. -E. Yeah, yeah. I saw that was a comedian. That was a comedian. That is a funny video, right? The person was saying something and the girls was like, this is wrong. When it's right. when it's uh tough, rough, and yeah, yep. through through and this kind of words, they just get confused. Yes. Yeah, so, so those things I can definitely help you with. And if you, oh good, you're recording. <laughs> I was gonna say, you should be recording. <laughs> That's why you sent me the video. <laughs> okay, I want a copy of this recording. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, but yes, there's many different, many different spellings. And I can look into that for you too. <clears throat> I actually have, in my garage books on phonetics that when my kids were little i was teaching them at home how to spell how to read and how to learn um i can go get those and then we can use those too if you want yeah I'll and that way you can see stuff spelled out I'll, okay yeah i, I want those things uh, i mean i want you to teach me as you taught uh, as you taught your children you all on children when, when they were kids yeah because you know i'm, I'm yeah from different character from different place where i have been learning something different language okay my mom and dad mm -hmm. taught me i'm so proud of you thank yeah you, thank you the, uh, yeah yeah so, uh so you know if i go from the the, the basic thing that you that, that 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 might you taught your children that will be really helpful you know mm -hmm. so uh so in this case if my basic thing will be strong then then i can then i can start reading the books like high high level book of english literature uh, the, the the story and then the books the, the movies we watch right we can find the books of those movies as well as like the right. little more girls i can find the books because i'm very interested watching this uh those episode those drama and I, I was also enjoying the reading the book as well and when i'm reading the books i can see i can i can see the words what they what what are they saying and i can i can also memorize those things you know so it will it will so, help Abu, how how much um i'm wondering what would be the easiest way if i took pictures with my phone mm -hmm. of pages and then sent them to you yeah. or i don't know how much it would cost because i could send you the book i could mail you the books too so you could have the books in your hand i don't know how much it would cost to mail them but they're tiny books but there's a lot of information in them okay maybe um um Enough, how you can do it? Oh. Uh, I I don't know if it's possible to send this book strike from my from your place to my place. Is it possible? I, yeah, I don't know, but if I mean if it is, I I would be willing to. Okay, it's okay. I can buy these books as well. You just tell me the name. I, I will find those book in India, maybe online, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I can definitely pull them together. And if I pull them together, that might be even more helpful than just trying to think things off of the top of your head. Okay, so off of the top of your head sounds funny, but it yeah. means um do not get something. You know what that means, right? Yeah. If if you if, yeah. Yeah, if, if, if you want to make me something understand and I just didn't get it, what, what you were talking about. And it's like to go up to the yeah. head. I don't know how to say it. It's go up to head. Yeah, so off the top of your head, when you say off the top of your head, it means real quick, like right away. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's after. So when you use off the top of your head, it means right away. Off. I got it right away. Off, off, off the top of your head. Off the top of your head. Yep, it means right away. Uh, how can I? How can I use it in, in, in a sentence? 
Okay, hang on one second. Patrick's calling. Hello? Hey. Okay, okay, hang on. I'll do that, thank you. Uh, Abul, hang on one second, okay? Mm -hmm. Dad? Yeah. You better move your car right now because it's starting to close stuff. Okay, well, go, go out there. Pat's here, so he'll help you, I think. There's a shovel in the garage, too. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, Abu, we have a lot of snow. A whole lot of snow. So the snow plows are coming to move the snow and my dad's car is out and they're gonna tow it away because they wanna plow the snow away. Does that make sense? They wanna move the snow. Mm -hmm. Four, three, six, one. Hang on one second. We got lots and lots of snow. Hi, um, he's going out there right now, but he said he went out there and he wasn't able to move it because it was packed with snow. Just kind of started because the stuff came out. I can't move them, but it's going around. I'm going to say it works. Okay, he's coming out right now. Okay, bye. Okay, sorry, Abul. <laughs> I'm back. So off the top of your head, you would say, um, I'm going to come up with an answer off the top of my head, which means um, without thinking about it very fast. I got it. I got it. I'm going to, I'm just write down this. Input. I'm going to come back. Okay. I'm going to come back off the top of the off head. The, off the top of my head or off the top of your head means um it means i'm going to come up with an answer without having to think about it just really quick i got i'm going to come up with something um to say got it hey you, you say lot or, you say yesterday that you're going to send me a video of snowing things yeah yes um so i'll i'll have patrick take a video right now Okay, you can send me later. It's okay. Now teach me English. It's, he's outside right now, though, so I'll have him do it real quick. Yeah, there's. it's a lot of snow. My puppy didn't even want to go outside because there was too much snow and it was too cold. <laughs> hey, um, when you have a second, I know you're busy, but if you're in the middle of snow, take a video because a bull wants to see the mess. All right, bye. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's see. If I ever say anything when we're talking and you don't understand, stop me because I'll, I'll help you. Yeah, it will help. Like if we're talking or working mm -hmm. and I say something and you're not sure, say, what does that mean? And I'll help you. Got it, got it. I will, I will, I will make you stop there if I, if I don't understand something. Yes. Yes. So what the name of those books you want me to like? Um, I would have to go look. Do you want me to go look and, and do you want me to meet you back here in five minutes and I'll go grab them? Uh, maybe you can you can send me a message later. Okay. Uh, 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 do you want me to teach from this book right now? It will be helped. Grab them. Okay, okay. Hang on. I'll go get them. Okay, go.
to go outside in the garage. And it's so cold. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See? Okay, practice, practice and learn what every individual years old needs to know to ensure success in school. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so let's see. Most of this, uh, most of this is math. Some is, um, is, reading so there's adjectives yeah okay hang on a second i'll skip over the math because i'm sure you know the math yeah i'm very good at math good i am not good at math <laughs> i stink at math so when you say i stink at yeah. math it means I'm bad at math. Oh, S-T-I? S-T-I-N-K. But stink also means P-U. Oh. Like, oh. Okay, it's, so stink. It's, it's, stink. It's, 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 and the end it's K? S-T-I-N-K. Okay. So stink can mean P U. Oof. Bad or bad. <laughs> so it can be bad, like not good or bad smell. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So you know your colors? Yeah. What the name of the colors? Red, yellow. You yeah. know your colors? I know the colors. It's color. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, they got maps, they got teams, they got, um, there's so much, so I can go through this, but you know, you know, foods, foods, uh, look, there's a lot of foods in USA, so I did, yeah. So yes. I definitely don't know anything about the foods, but I okay. only I only know the few the vegetable names and the rice bread, the things I eat, I cannot. You know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the thing yeah. that in the US is a lot of foods. I see the pictures, and I exactly don't know the name of theirs. Okay, so we can work on that too when you want. Um. You just tell me what you want to learn, and I'll I'll find stuff and teach you. Um, this is nice. The first thesaurus. Thesaurus. It's called thesaurus. Thes so what thesaurus. a thesaurus is will be like. Can you see here? Mm -hmm. Bicycle. Went, went on wheels. Went on wheels. So there is a bicycle. Mm -hmm. It says cycled. So when you ride a bike, you pedal your feet, right? Mm -hmm. So when you pedal, it can, call, it can be called pedal or cycle or so it's a thesaurus is um many words with the same meaning oh it's so that's it's like a millennia, that it's like a millennials or something like that yes like um like when you jump up and down you know jump right mm -hmm. do you know jump so yeah, when you jump you like jump up jump okay so jump can also mean leap leap yeah, I know so that. Jump. Mm. Yes, L E A P. <clears throat> so if you walk mm. and you're very quiet when you walk, you can call it creep oh. or crept. Creep. Or if you're very quiet when you walk, you can tiptoe. 
oh. which means you're walking, but you're trying to be very quiet. So there's many different words for the same meaning. Tiptoe. Tiptoe. So T I P T O E. Yeah, got it. it means so creep uh, is creep is something the person who is like annoying. Uh, maybe I don't know how. So to creep. Yes, if they call somebody a creep, another thing, a creep can be somebody who's ugly or bad. You can call them a creep. Yeah. Right. This but is creep like can also to walk quietly. Okay. So this would be a very good book too. Um, so let's say, um, okay, remember, if you, you can throw a ball, you can throw it. Ball. But if, a ball, yep, you can take a ball and throw it. But if you already throw it, you threw it. Yeah, it's it like a verb to the participant uh, form of the throw. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, like yes. throw, so this throw, throw. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So let's see. Um, outside when it rains. Mm -hmm. You can call the rain drizzle, which means um, it's kind of coming down, but it's kind of wet and kind of snowy. So that would be drizzle, like a drizzly wet weather. Uh, um, D if I Z Z L Y or L E, so it can be drizzle or drizzly. Uh, okay, so what I can read, if you aren't here right now, and I found this word, and I would read it, drizzly, drizzly. Drizzly, yep. Okay. So drizzly. D-R-I-D-D-L-Y, drizzly. Yep, drizzly, yep. Drizzly. And if drizzly. you have wet water outside rain coming down, and it's coming down very, very hard. Mm -hmm. You say it's pouring outside, like you pour water or you pour coffee. Mm -hmm. When the rain comes down really hard, you say it's pouring outside. Oh, so it's, it's like P -O -U. it's like the raining, but it's very little, little, right? It's just like making that's it away. drizzle. Oh, okay. that would be drizzle. Okay, that drizzle. It's a little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's coming down lightly, it's drizzle. If it's coming down very, very hard and a lot of it and a lot at one time, it's pouring rain. Oh, yeah. So okay. it's P O P O U R I N. Yep. Pouring. It's like someone just like, um, uh, you know, yeah, I don't know. So you this, this, you pour water into a cup, pour. Yes. So, but pour, P-O-U-R, but you can also be poor, which means you don't have very much money, which that's is P-O-O-R. Yeah, that's a different. It's pouring means someone yeah. just uh, suddenly put the money, uh, put the water in something suddenly. The whole water in Yes, they pour. Yeah, pouring. Yes. Or if the rain comes down very, very fast, they say it's pouring rain outside. Oh, pouring, pouring rain outside. Yes. Means it's coming down very, very fast. There's a lot of it and it's coming down very fast. Mm -hmm. So it's like a weather thing. You learn yes. Drink, drizzly, ra wet, raining outside, pouring, yes. rain outside yes so pouring yeah. rain is a lot of rain drizzly is a little if it's rainy outside it's just normal rain yeah uh, got it okay so if what? it's showery they, they say showery like when you take a shower and you wash your hair in the in the shower um if it's showery it's kind of like on and off the rain is on and off 
of. Okay, got it. It's sorry. S O W. Sorry. S O W. S H. S H O W S. Okay, sorry. Can you see? Yeah, you can't see it. Oh, it's S H O W R Y. E R Y. E R Y. Got so it. So it's S H O W E R Y. Yep. Sorry. Sorry, raining outside, right? Yeah. It's it's showery outside. Oh, sorry. so you just say it's showery outside. Yep. Got it. Got it. So if it's a uh, dri uh, drizzly, so do I have to say the drizzly wet raining outside? It's not nope, just it's drizzly outside. Oh, it's or it's drizzling. It's drizzling. Yep. Uh, if, if I, I if I use the ing at the end of the words, then it says like, uh, it's drizzling outside. That's yes. Yes. Drizzly. Yep. Drizzly. Driz uh, drizzly outside. Yep. Got it. And, so and, and, and it's, it, it, it's pouring, and then I can say it's pouring outside. It's pouring outside, yes. Or sometimes they say when it's pouring and it's raining a lot, a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. One of the things we say, like kind of like on the top of your head, like real fast, we'll say it's raining cats and dogs. Oh. Which is but it means it's raining a lot, a lot, a lot outside. Okay, raining cats super, and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. I mean, oh my goodness, it's really raining outside. There's a lot of rain outside. This is the thing. So the we'll say, uh, oh. This is the thing they use in the but movie, that, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's the. This is the reason we just yes. fall in love with those movies, just because of they use something very unique. You never heard of it. Yes. Well, yes. Look, what, what we actually do, we have I have been learning the English just watching the Hollywood movies, nothing else. I never went to the English lecturer. I never hired any somebody professional who can teach me English, but I still I can I can speak English a little bit just because of the Hollywood movies that I've been watching. And why That's I do fall in love with this movie, just because they use the different things, different the phrases, yeah. the words, and it's making me like, oh, this is something very new. I want to learn it. Yeah. So when you watch Gilmore Girls and they say something and everybody laughs and you're like, what does that mean? Write it down yeah. and then I'll tell you. That's a, okay? good, that's a good idea. So let's see. Um, when a bird outside, a bird, when it flies outside, you can say it flapped its wings. It's Flop. When it does this, it flapped. F L A P P E D. It flapped its wings. F L A. Yep. P P E D means flapped its wings. Means goes like this with its wings. Yeah. The cock okay. is the cock is flapping his wing. Yes. Yep. Yep. And if you look outside and you see an eagle and it's flying and its wings are like this and it's just flying across the sky, yeah. they call that gliding. When it's not moving, it's, it's, its arms are like this, but it's not moving, they call it gliding, like glide. So it's G-L-I-D-E. -L. Yep. Glide. I glide. Yep. Okay, when it flapped, it's moving the wing, uh, moving the wing of the birds. Yeah. Yeah, and when it's glide, it's, it's still, but it's still flying the birds. It's like the eagle. Yeah. Their, yes, their, yes. Their, their, their wing, yeah. their wing, yep. their, their wing is, is still, but it's still there just moving forward. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, when it hovers, 
Um, when a crow or a um, bird is like in circles and circles and it looks like it's going to go down and eat something like it's called hoovering. Oh, you know what I mean? When the, yeah, there's an animal down there and the bird just goes like this. Yeah. And it circles it down, and then it's going to go down. Yeah. This, this is hoover. H O. So H O V E R. It's okay. Hoover. You can call it Hoovering. Yeah. And if it Hoover before it swooped down, it Hoover E D. Hoovered. Hoovered. It means it already did that. If it's Hoovering, it's circling right now. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I know. So, I know. The, the verb one, verb two, the verb three. I, yes. Yes. Uh, so did the, and another uh, word. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, the, the uh, I just forget the word for the, the birds that are uh, what is that called? The birds which is just like uh, hoovering. The eagles, the, the eagle do the same thing. I have oh, seen. Do yeah, eagle do this uh, often time. I I've seen. Oh, to go get a fish. To yeah. get a fish or to get, get a, an animal. To, to, to so, get, what do you call those little chicks when they, when they just uh, come out from their eggs? Hatchling. Okay. The, when they, when they hatch, when they come out of the egg, mm -hmm. eaglet or hatchling. Because when it, they break out of the egg, we call it hatch. Yeah. They're in the egg. And they come out, hatch. Okay. Uh, so yeah. we call the baby birds hatchling. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. The process so of the, the, the process the of this, the process of to 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 come out of the birds or the the chicken from the eggs. This is called hatch. I have read this in biology. Okay. Yes. Yes. And when they're out of the egg and they're still babies. Mm -hmm. You call them hatchling. So the baby bird is called a hatchling. Oh. L I N hatchling. H A T C H L I N G, right? Yes, yes. <clears throat> so we wrote glided when the eagle glides. They also call that soar. S O A R. So they soar. So they're moving with their wings out, but they're not moving their wings. It's slurred? Soar. S-O-A-R. Oh, it's like, okay, it's like sweet and sour. Okay, so that is sour. S-O-U-R. Oh, that is sour. It's sour. S-O-A-R. Yeah, so it's sour. Soar, soar. Soar, oh, soar. I soar. got it. Soar, yep. So soar, and you're thinking sour, like sweet and sour. It's, yeah. It's very similar, but one letter off. It's eight. Um, sour um, is S-O-U-R. Oh, like, it's sour. It's S-O-U-R. Yes. Soar. Yes, soar is S O A R, but also if you get a cut mm. and it's like a scab on your, a mark on your skin, like blood, you can call that a sore, which is S O R E. Oh, okay. So the, the blood is still in it, it didn't get out of the uh, skin. Well, if it does. You know, like you, you cut yourself and then once it starts to heal and get better, there's kind of like a scab on it oh. that you can call a sore. S -O -R -E. Like, ouch, a sore. Yeah. S-O-R-E. Yes, yes. And then, and then we, just, we just use the, the uh, what do you call the paste from, we, we, we buy paste from medicine. 
from medical to use and to remove that sore, yeah. S-O-R-E, sore. S-O-R-E, yep. So you can use a paste or an ointment. An ointment is more kind of like this. It's and clear. Okay. Yes. So this is like a um, an ointment. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna write this. I'm just let me, let me write it. It's okay. S O R E. Sorry, is -E. how, how do I write it? Like, how do you explain it? Like, a scratch in the skin. Yep, an open, an open wound. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, an open wound. That makes sense. Okay. W. But the O U N D wound. W O U N D. It's it's not painful anymore, but it's like making a sign that I got hurt. Yeah. Yes, but it can be open. It can be open, and it can be bad, and it can need medicine in it because it's an open sore. There can be a closed sore, which means it's healing, or an open sore, which means it's still really bad. But it's still a sore. Okay, so it's still uh, like a injury. So I have to use the open sore and closed sore. Yeah. Okay. But you don't have to. It doesn't matter. It, it a sore can be either open or closed. Okay, got it. I got it. Okay. And the what and then, call is that? Uh, the paste. Oh, here. Let's see. It's written something on, on the above of surface of that. Okay. It's ointment. It's O-I-N-T-M-E-N-T. -E so, ointment. Yep. Can I call something, uh, um, um, something else? I mean, I got something very good which is also paste, but when I use that, it's making that wound healing. Can I, can I call that ointment? Yes. Yeah. yes, but the difference between ointment and paste, paste is more like white and thick, like toothpaste, mm -hmm. right? Like toothpaste kind of, the consistency. Ointment is, let me see. So it's almost like um, Vaseline. Oh, so, so um, that is a, that that is like you know medicine that you are telling the brand yeah. name. That. Yes, it does the same thing. It's just a different like paste is maybe white and maybe thicker. This is clear and slippery. Okay. Oh, uh, suppose I got cut in my skin and I just go to the. Um, uh, what does call the people who just open pharmacy? It? Pharmacy. That's pharmacy. Cool. If I go to the pharmacy, yes. <laughs> thank you. That that this is thing I need to know. If I go yeah. to the pharmacy, can I say the pharmacy that I need an ointment because I got cut in my skin? Yes. So yep. he will give me the person who is sitting on the pharmacy. What the person called doctor? Um, pharmacist, pharmacist. The pharmacist, the pharmacist gave me um, anything he can give me, he knows that will help me to healing that, right? Not the white man. Would be just medicine. Ointment would just mean this medicine is clear and super soft and slippery. Okay. Um, a paste is thicker, right? And colored white. Okay, so I can. This call, is. Okay, I can call anything an ointment when it's thicker and clean and softy. Clear. Yep, clear. So you no color and slippery and okay. very soft. Got it. Okay. Um, but back to the birds. One more thing on the birds. Okay. Mm -hmm. When the bird is up in the air and it goes down, when, it, when a bird's up here and it goes, that's called swoop. 
when it goes to the ground real fast. When the eagle do the same thing to catch up the birds, to catch up the animals. Yes. Yes, it's called swoop. Swoop. S S W O O P. P. Yep. How to how to explain this? How, how I write this down so I can remember it. Um. So a swoop when it goes down to get the bird when it goes woo, it's called swoop or you can call it dive. Ah. I V. Yes. When bird dive to now, get the birds. Yes. So dive or swoop. Is this helping you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Swoop, swoop. Swoop. I yep. love it. I love it when the when the eagle swoop. Yes. Yeah. If it's I were. A fun word. Yeah. If I were in the top of that birds, which is sweeping. It will feel amazing, like you have seen the movie, uh, Harry Potter. Uh, on that yes, when yes. when Harry does uh, ride that horse, which is flying, which can fly. And yes. Wow, birds was like everywhere, sweeping, right? Yes. So swoop means it already did it. Um, sweep is, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So sweep means they're doing it. Swoop means they did it. Okay. Uh, when we when we try to remove the you know uh, something that maybe on the floor, then we also call that sweeping the floor. Sweep. Yes, with a broom, right? Yeah, with the, with the broom. So yes, that is sweep. So this is the process. And if you. Spent. The soup, so, soup is the part past participant of sweep, right? Yes. So if you swoop, it's already done. Okay. Or, yes. <clears throat> Got it. And then. Let's see. So, caught, like you throw me a ball and I'll catch it, right? Hmm. If you throw me a ball, I'll catch it. If I already catched it, I caught it. Yeah, I know that. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, like I caught you when we, when we play a hide and seek. And yes. somebody, hey, I caught you. I know that. Yes. So let's see. Um, what does it mean when when somebody says, you know how to bury the lead? Say that one more time. Uh, when somebody says, uh, when I saying something to somebody and then, and, and then he says, oh, you know how to bury the lead. L E D E. You know how to bury the lead. So the, the phrase bury, bury the leads is something new. Bury the leads? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hang on. I, I will find out. That one I'm not, I don't know. Um, maybe. Let's see. So bury means to cover, right? Buried somebody in the ground. B U R Y. Yes. Um. What does it mean to bury the leads? According to Merriam-Webster, a lead is the introductory section in journalism, and thus to bury the lead refers to hiding the most important and relevant pieces of. Yeah. The. Did you I, hear that? Yeah, I got it. So when you when you tell a story to somebody and and you just don't tell the important part. Okay. Yes, yes. And then, so you keep that away. Yeah. yeah. Give me one second, one second. Yeah. Okay, come in. Come on.
Okay, I'm back. So uh, I got these words when uh, when Rory went to the uh, went to the New York City to meet Jess, and she yeah. and she missed the missed the school and come back to home, and she telling her mother that she just went to the New York City to meet the Jess. But she wasn't telling this thing that she went to the New York City to meet the Jays. But she was just like telling here and there. She just like bring the bus, and then and then at the so end, she hides me. Yeah. keeping a secret, right? Yeah. And then at the yes. end, yes. And and the end, she said, "I just went to meet the Jays." And then mother says, "You know how the lead." <laughs> you know how uh, and then i just like caught out the word and then just i like, wrote it down yes that's good Rich. and if i were watching that i would have got it but just hearing it i was like i don't know so yeah. if i were watching the show and they said it i would be like oh i get it but without watching it i was like i don't know what that means <laughs> So what exactly happened? If I understand the words they are speaking, and if I couldn't understand that, I'm gonna search that out. But if I don't know what they're talking because their accent is different than us, it is yes. very hard to understand these some different accents because the people who live in the London British accent and the Poland yes. accent they are very hard to understand. I don't even know. They are like, hard to understand. Yeah, they hard for me too. Yeah. They speak very fast and they also, you know, I don't know, they just like, um, uh, I don't proper. Know. Yeah. Yeah. They, so the lead here, when I, when I set it into my phone, it was spelled different too. Cause we spell lead L E A D meaning like to lead somebody or, um, a lead person in the show in a in a show or a movie would be like the main person as you but are leading me as you are leading me at the moment yes yes no. yes so this um, lead is different led this lead is led l-e-d-e -E. yeah yes so, so yeah. i wouldn't have known what that was either that's a new word for me yeah I have to learn so, how, to, how to bury the lead so I can keep secret high yes. from my yep. mother and dad so I don't got cut up and I don't get beaten by them, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, I'm not gonna teach you how to keep things from your mom and dad though. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, so, oh yeah, you're, you're old enough now, right? <laughs> so, noise, noise, you know what noise is? Yeah, uh, when somebody so, does something and, and producing, producing, producing the sound that make me feel Irritate or like I do not understand. You see that? Yeah, noises. Noise. There's many, yes, there's many, many different noises. Um, like when you go, it's sniff. Sniff. Sniff or yeah. sn snivel. Okay. <laughs> Or when you when you cr when your nose is running and you go, or if you're smelling and you smell something, or if you're crying, if you're crying and you go, it's yeah, called a sniff or a snivel. S n i f e. <laughs> S S n i v v as in Victor V. So S n i v. E L snivel. Oh, snivel. Snivel. Yes. Snivel. 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 Like it. 
snivel. Ja. Sne, e, snivel, ja. Snivel. Um, snivel, ja. Uh, when you're sleeping and you go <laughs> snore. Oh, it's snore. Yeah. S N O. S R E. Yep, snore. Got it. Like door, like door, but snore. Yeah. Um. So, is whistle? Yeah. W S I T L E. Uh, yes. If you go, <clears throat> is burp. B U. <laughs> yeah, when you. R P. B U R P. Yep. Okay. Yep. How do I write? Um, I mean, I mean, I just write down this thing, and if I see this later on, I can't understand. I have to explain this, like snivel, the noise we produce when we cry. Yeah? Yeah, like when you... <laughs> so <laughs> you're sucking air in your nose, yes. Yeah, um, so how do I write it? Like... So here, can you see this? Um... Oh, yeah, but I see the person is crying, but I don't know how to explain that. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, um, you can, when you're crying and you go, when you uh, sniff air in your nose when you're crying, Like I just wrote down when someone crying and make noise, they're called snivel. Yes, yes. And so ugly, I know, ugly cry. Yeah. When they're crying hard, when they ugly cry. Yeah, when, when you cry, but that, uh, and, uh, when, yeah, we have seen that when we uh, scold the children, the children start crying like. Yes. And they're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And snore uh, and snore when person is sleeping. Yes. And they go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Patrick. <laughs> when um, when uh, when when someone make noise. When right here. Yeah. <laughs> so, right here, do you see this this boy running? Yeah. Okay. You're running really hard, and you have a hard time breathing because you're running real hard. They can call it your. <sighs> it's called panting. P like your pants. You put on your pants when you go because <sighs> you're running hard it's called panting that's panting it's puffing p-a-n-t um p-u-f-f -F, puff or when you go panting when you go just one time yes it's and if you just do it once, like you say something, and I'm like, if you say something to me, and I'm like, it's called a sigh, S-I-G-H. Okay, S-I. You say something. G. G-H. It would be if a H. Okay. Sigh. Okay, like, when, when you see it from, you know, but, when, you, when you see it from doing some work, and you just feel like very pissed, and then you just like, yeah, or if you're running real hard and then you go, that's called sigh. 
psi. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you can either do a sigh when somebody's talking to you and you're like, oh, sigh. Or if you're running hard in, in that noise, that, that they call a sigh. Which reminds me of hi, which is like hi, Abul, H I, or hi, H I G H, is high up in the sky, very yes. high. Something very heavy. Okay. Okay, hi. I just I just forgot the panting P A I N. Nope. Okay, you're thinking paint like you paint a wall. The, that has an I in it. Pant is P-A-N with no I. P-A-N-T. Like when you put your pants on. <laughs> what is mean, pant? Pant is when you're running really fast and you're like, <sighs> you're breathing. Okay. It's called panting. Or when a dog, when a dog goes, <sighs> That's called yeah. panting. When their tongue sticks out and they drool so at, and they're at, like. At, at the end, I have to put ing, P -A -P -A -N -T -I -N -G. Um, Yeah, you can pant, which is, is that, or if, you, if you're doing it, you can call it panting, the verb. Yeah, got it. So pant would be more like the noun, Panting would be the verb, which means doing it. Yeah, got it. I just I just wrote okay. happily breathing after running. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um do you see this picture? Machine? Yeah, or like a big machine? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. a big machine can make all sorts of noises. Yeah. It can be like a, a, a boing, or a click, or a bang, or a bong. It can have like a tick in it, which is tick, 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 tick. That would be a tick. Mm -hmm. um, if it has like a whizz, that would be more like a whiz. Um, a whine would be like a mm, that that you would call like a whine. Or if you're complaining, if you're complaining, you don't like something, you're like, oh, this day sucks. I don't like this, blah, blah, blah. We would say that you're whining. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Like you're complaining, you're whining. Stop your whining. <laughs> yeah, got it. Yeah. So what does that mean, okay. whining? So whine would be W-H-I-N-E, and whine would be like the act of complaining. Okay. Um, um, like you give me a lot of homework and I don't like it. So I'm gonna complain. I'm gonna be like, man, that Abu just gives me too much homework. He yeah. just frustrates me. I'm not yeah, when happy, you, blah, blah, blah. That means I'm yeah, when you whining. Just, when you just keep talking about something that makes you annoying. And then you just like you're stop whining. whining. I have I have yes. all these movies like with expression. Stop whining. Yes. Got it. But also, wine without the H is a drink, alcohol. Yeah, wine. I know that. I never use that. Yes. It's wine. Good. <laughs> a lot of wine, red yeah. wine. White wine. I didn't know this, but yeah. I work in a company where I had to call to the UK people and I had to ask if they used to drink wine. If they say yes, I drink oh. wine, then I had to ask which wine they uh, prefer white, red, or uh, there's just something. Yeah. Uh, then this, this was my job. You know, I hated the job. I okay. I also, I also uh, uh, needed to ask them if they are prepared for their funeral. If they 
Oh. Yeah, if they collecting money for their funeral. I mean, I don't know what kind of person. Ah. Some people get really annoyed. Like, hey, man, why do you ask me this? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know why this company asking this question. My job. <laughs> yeah, that's a very yeah. good job. <laughs> Got it. So, so, have you ever? Go ahead. What is the meaning of verb? B U. RP. Burp is when you make a noise like air here and you go. Ugh. Oh. If you burp. Ugh. Okay. So yeah. Eating the throat. Something like that. Pardon? Uh, it's like uh, when you What'd feel you like when you feel like eating the throat and then you. Um. Yes. When air. When air is in here. And air comes out of your mouth uh, and it makes a noise. Yeah. Yep. So a burp is that noise and the air coming out of your chest. Got it. Got it. So also another word for like whining, um, not necessarily when you're complaining, but when you make that noise, like you're working really hard and you go, oh, that would be like a groan. Yeah. That noise, that groan. Yep. It's G R um, O W N. No, that's a different kind of groan. This kind of groan, the noise groan, like if you're working hard and lifting something heavy and you make like a groan noise, like, oh, that's groan, G-R-O-A-N. Yeah, got it, groan. But it sounds, it sounds the same as the other groan, which you were right, it's G-R-O-W-N, that groan means to grow, like you plant a flower and it grows, or a baby is little and it gets older and it grows, it gets bigger. I know that. That's why we have a lot of words that sound the same and that are spelled different, or we'll have one word that's spelled one way and it has many different meanings. Yes. This is the difficult thing because you know yeah. something else, but you see, but they're trying to they they're trying to say something else, but you understand something else, and then there's a misunderstanding between two, yeah. and then you know fighting starts. <laughs> right, right, because the language barrier. Yes, uh, I, I knew somebody. Yes. Uh, I used to talk with. Uh, you know, I used to be in the group, international, uh, in WhatsApp groups, and I, and there was a lot of native people, English people, and I knew a, a boy, he wasn't very grown and young, uh, he was from Pakistan, you know Pakistan? Mm -hmm. And then Bob was very intelligent, very intelligent, I mean, I have been, uh, he was just like, you know, writing on the groups, on the uh, on the on the WhatsApp group, and native people will just uh, like flew away from him just because he can't agree with that person because he know everything. Like I'm like oh, this person is very intelligent, and when I talk to him personally, he's a little boy, but he got very wow. intelligent in mind. I was like impressive. So uh, uh, yeah, I. We can trade off. You help me, I help you. <laughs> um, I don't mind at all. But like I said, you have questions. You ask me, um, food, like if you eat food and it's good, it tastes good, mm -hmm. it would be nice food, delicious food. Sometimes they say mouth-watering food. Yeah. Mouth-watering, yeah. Um, scrumptious, S scrumptious, scrumptious, scrumptious. Yep. Yeah. So we are now. We, so we are now. Do you want to? We have now new topic about the food.
Yes, if we're on it, yep. If food is really good, it can be called scrumptious. Okay. Scrumptious. That means it tastes so good. Uh, yeah. It's S C R U M P T I O U S. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. Mm -hmm. Scrumptious. Delicious. Scrum Yes, delicious, scrumptious. Um, it can also be called tasty or yummy. Y-U-M-M-Y. -M -Y. Yep, tasty. Oh, this is this food is tasty. This yeah. is good food. This is scrumptious. Or yummy. Yes, scrumptious. Um, if it's bad food, it would be nasty. Yeah, um, this disgusting. This is disgusting. Nasty. Right? Nasty, yep. N -A -S -T -Y. Or revolting. Yep. Nasty can be, it doesn't taste good. Nasty can be like, you can be nasty. If you are mean, you are nasty. Uh -oh. If you are. So nasty can be yucky, like this food, ugh, nasty. Your attitude, if you have a bad attitude, I would call you nasty. If you like um, looking at things that are inappropriate or you behave badly, nasty. Okay? Okay, when you talk or to somebody, when you talk with somebody, when you talk with somebody and use the mean words, then this is mm -hmm. called nasty, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Nasty could be a yeah. food, could be behave, uh, a person behave, and the taste of the food, I got it. Yeah. You are being so nasty, man. And yes, yes, yes. Yep. Um, revolting, same thing, revolting. You are revolting. I don't want anything to do with you. You are revolting. R E V O V as in V, V, revolting. V O L T I N G. Revolting is mean the same thing as nasty. Yep. I don't want anything to do with you. You are revolting. Get away from me. Revolting. Yes. Bad behavior. Yep. Yes. Is it like sexually or just like being hurt? It can be, yes. Yep, all three of those words can be used sexually too. Like, you're gross. I don't want anything to do with you. You are rude. You are disgusting. You are nasty. You are icky. You are gross. Go get away from me. Gross. Yes. Gross. Gross. G R O S S. Gross. Oh, gross. I okay. This is where I have been listening from years, and I I thought this is like gross. You know, moving. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, gross, disgusting, nasty, ish, yuck. Okay, that is the word. I, I never said this word. I just like, yeah, this could be something I know. But I really didn't know these words, many. Yeah. But I'm pretending yeah. that I know these words. Right. So disgusting, nasty, revolting, icky. Gross, yuck. Yuck, Y-O. Y-U-C-K, yuck, yucky. Itchy. Ah, uh, you said itchy? What? Itchy means like, oh, scratch. Yeah, no, 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 you, you, you said gross, yuck, icky. Oh, icky, icky, I, C K Y. 
เอออีกทีอีกีย yep. Got it. Nasty, revolting, mm -hmm. gross, yuck, icky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Its smaller verbs. Yeah. Its smaller verbs are noun. Verbs. Verbs. Mm -hmm. Um, if somebody's nasty, they can like a noun would be, you pig, you jerk. Yeah. You ass. Meaning donkey, you know, you ass. Um, that's a not nice word to use. That's more like a swear word. Okay, it's swear. If you use the ass, it can be taken as a, as a swear word. Like you're an ass. You are horrible. Uh, you are disgusting. Sometimes, like if if you want to call somebody a not nice name. You can call them an ass, but that's a that's like a swear word. Swear, S W E A R. Yeah, that that means like um, if you say a word that is bad that you shouldn't say, because it's 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 a uh, almost like um, a forbidden word or a, a nasty word that you shouldn't it's, use. It's abusing. Some people will call somebody an. Somebody will call somebody like, don't ever call anybody and ask if you want to get slapped in the face. Uh, Does that make sense? Yeah. So like you, if you call somebody and ask, they will punch you in the face. So how do you say it? Like you ask, you jerk. So ask, yes, but ask is like, you don't ever want to say that unless you want someone to punch you in the face. <laughs> I know, it, people I, take offense by it. Yeah, I know these words, but yeah. I, I, I never use this word and I never write this word in my notebook nope. in anywhere. So if I write this, means I know it. That's what it means. But an ass means your butt, mm -hmm. like your, your rear end, or a donkey. But and those are taken like negative ways. So if you call somebody an ass, you're really, really angry at them. Yeah, and you okay. jerk. You jerk. Jerk is spelling G U R K. J, J, E, R K. Jerk. And jerk is not a swear word. It's just a uh. You're being stupid. You're being not very nice. You're being bad. You're a jerk. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense because I have been. I've been listening to these words in Hollywood movies. You ask, mm -hmm. you jerk, and, and what? Yeah. So there are many words that you use. Um, you asshole. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing? Yes, that's, that's bad. That's even worse because what an asshole really means is where your poop comes out of your butt, <laughs> which is very bad. <laughs> yeah. So you don't want to call somebody that unless you're really, really mad at them and you don't mind if they hit you. <laughs> no, no, we don't. Actually, nobody uses this word. Nobody speak English here, you know. Nobody. Mm -hmm. I speak English, but nobody knows as well that I can speak English even a little bit. If I don't speak English, mm -hmm. I never got someone to speak with. Right. I just, yeah. So it's like no point of learning this thing. The English thing, but right, but right. I, I can teach somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. That's another thing, Abu. If you know anybody who wants to learn English, I could teach them English. I wonder if I could make money doing that. Yeah, you can. You can make money. You can make very good money. Absolutely. So if you know anybody who wants to learn English, I can help them. But um, so let's say if you go out and you have a really nice day, a really good time, okay? Mm -hmm. You could say, oh, this is delightful. Oh, delightful. So you go, 
This is delightful. It means this is, I'm having a really good time. This is delightful. D-E-L-I-G-H-T-F-U-O. This is delightful. Yes, yes, this is delightful. Um, or you can say, this is enjoyable. I'm enjoying my day. Having good time. Or, yes, or you can say, Wow, this is a fantastic day. Fantastic means wonderful, really good. Uh, um, great, super, yes. Um, if you see a girl and she's very pretty, nice looking, you like her, she looks good, you can say she's beautiful. She's um, gorgeous. Another gorgeous, beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, gorgeous. It's G O. Another word. G O R G E O U S. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. You're that gorgeous. is a very nice. Yes, that's a very nice word to use. Beautiful is a very nice word to use. Hot, if they say, oh, she's hot. It means she's very pretty. She's very nice, but they're, they're um, sexually attracted to her. It's more of a, um, not a very good word to use. It's more of a kind of, not polite word to use. Yeah, uh, being nesting with being nesting nasty with her. Yes. If you say yes. some some go um, you are hot means you, you see her is a different way. Right? Yes. Yeah. You you feel more some, as you feel something else. Yeah more you like, see her. Yes. Got it. Yes. Yep. Um, if you look out your window in your house and outside your view is very pretty, mm -hmm. you can say, oh, it's amazing. Amazing. The view is amazing. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Okay. Um, amazing or amazing? Incredible. Amazing. A-M-A-Z-I-N-G. It's amazing. Yes, amazing. Amazing. Amazing, yep. Amazing. 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 That means it's amazing. beautiful. It's perfect. It's, it's amazing. So a picture outside, um, the weather, um, the view. Um, if if you have friends who are very, very good, you like your friends a lot, you can have amazing friends. They're wonderful friends. They're great. I love my friends. They're amazing. Yeah. So amazing can take on a few different, um, a few different ways too. Like um, something can look amazing. Something can be amazing. Anything that make you feel something good. Yes. Yes. And, amazing. And, and, and make you amaze. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and beautiful can be that way too. Like when I say I have this friend, his name is Abul. He's beautiful. That means you are you. Um, you can look at them like you're beautiful. You look very nice, or you're beautiful, meaning I really like your heart. You're a really good person. You're a beautiful person. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But most of the time. If you're talking about a person, you would not use beautiful when you reference a man. Yeah, it's handsome. It's more feminine. Yes, beautiful is more of a feminine word. <coughs> yes. So have you heard the word enchanting? Enchanting. Enchanting can be beautiful. It can be wonderful like um disneyland you know disneyland mm -hmm. um everything is um is 
just wonderful. Everything is great. Everything is so good. It's enchanting. E N. You know what I mean? They use enchanting. E N C H A N T I N G. Oh. It's enchanting. Enchanting. It's enchanting. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Yes. Beautiful. It's amazing. Yes. Yes, it's incredible. It's incredible. incredible. It's unbelievable. Yes, it's spectacular. Yeah, spectacular. It's spect. The spect. It's S P C. Spec. Spectacular. It's S P E C T U L A R. Spectacular. Okay. Spectacular, right? S P E C D A C U L A. Yes, it's spectacular. Got it. So I would break it down. Spec S P E C dash spec dash t a c dash spec tac u dash lar spec tac u lar yeah it, that's spectacular it's a spectacular spectacular yep spectacular or spectacular. all that spectacular spectacular yep spectacular or oh spectacular yep or you look at a girl who's very pretty, very eye-catching, and she's dressed in a beautiful dress. You go, oh, she's stunning. 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 S-T-U-N-N-I-N-G. Yes. Yes. Oh, she's stunning. Or the weather outside. It's stunning. It's beautiful. Oh, you look stunning today. Yes, yes. I, I never gonna use these words. I just learning because I'm nobody oh, speak English what? here. See, but it does thing. I'm gonna move to the US. Very soon. Okay. <laughs> you can come stay with us. Yeah. Please. Stunning. The way that it's stunning. That's stunning. Stunning. Yes. So, do you remember we were talking about a nasty person? Mm -hmm. If they're nasty, they can be cruel. Cruel means mean. C-R-U-E-L. Mean, nasty, horrible, bad. So, C-R-U-E-L. Oh, yep, U-E-L. R-U-E-L. They are cruel. Uh, a mother can't um, be cruel. They are well, horrible. Right? A mother? Yeah, a mother can't What'd be cruel. What'd you say? A mother can be cruel as well. A mother can be cruel. Yes, my mother is cruel. Hmm. My mother is not very nice sometimes, yes. Um, cruel can be horrible. That's horrible. Oh, did they hurt you? That's horrible. I'm so sorry. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible. It's horrible. Um, it's horrible or horrible? Horrible. H O R R I B L E. Horrible. That's horrible. You have watched the movie um, Sleepy Horror? No. Uh uh. That's beautiful. Movie. I might have to check it up. Yeah. So, um, mean, spiteful. That was spiteful of you. Like, <clears throat> if if you if somebody treats you bad and you want to do something mean back to them, okay, like I punch you in the face and you don't like it, so you want to pop a hole in my tire, it, it's called out of spite. So you're being spiteful. I did something bad to you. You want to do something bad to me. Instead of forgiving me, you want to do something bad. You do something spiteful. 
S -P nasty, spiteful. S P I T E F U L. That's spiteful. Oh, it, it, when we see the drama, a Hollywood drama, um, and the girls uh, and girls say something to the boy, and boy also say something. The girls and girl, the girls feel hurt, and then girls like replying or being so spiteful. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Um, unfriendly, not friendly. That was mean. That was unfriendly of you. That was unkind of you. Got it. Unkind. Mm -hmm. Oh, learn is so, so much thing today. A lot of things. I know. If it's too much, we can stop. <laughs> no, it, it's not too much. I don't want to overload. It's not okay. too much. So remember we talked about nasty weather outside when the weather is nasty outside? Mm -hmm. Like it's rainy or it's snowy or it's icky outside. Another word for that type of nasty would be dreadful. I don't want to go outside. I don't want to do it. It's too yucky outside to go outside. The weather is dreadful. Uh, uh, D R E A D F U O. Yes, it's, it's dreadful out there. I, I dread going outside. I do not want to go outside. It's too yucky. It's dreadful outside. So anything that makes you not want to do it can be called dreadful. If you don't want to do your homework because it's too hard, you can call that, my homework is dreadful. I don't want to do it. It's dreadful. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. It's dreadful weather today. I don't want to go out. Got yes, it. it's dreadful outside. Got it. Um, it can be foul. F O U L. It F foul is nasty weather, yucky weather, ishy, foul. Somebody can have a foul mouth, okay. which means their mouth is yucky. They swear a lot. They talk really ugly. So if it's really ugly, ishy, yucky, I don't like the way they talk. You can say they have a foul mouth. They uh. swear too much. They talk about people all the time. I don't like being around that person. They have a foul mouth. Uh, foul mouth. Does that make sense? Yeah. Bang. Uh, so it can bang. be foul outside. It. Okay. And foul can also be like a, a foul smell. Like you open your refrigerator and there is a um, a chicken that has been in there too long and it's starting to stink. It can be like a foul, a nasty smell. Oh, got it. So foul can be like foul even a smell. nasty smell. Yep, it can be a smell. It can be a emotion. It can be the weather. It's just foul. It's nasty. It's gross. It's ishy. Got it. F-O-U-L, foul. Okay. Foul. Yeah. Um, I think we already you you know what horrible means, right? Same yeah. thing. Horrible. It's horrible outside. Bang, bang, bang. That person has a horrible attitude. Yeah. You are horrible. I Means very bad. You look. Yeah. You you yes. look creepy. You look bad. You make me afraid. Yes. Like, yeah. Horrible. Like, yes. Or horrible movies. We have. Once. Yes. Uh, um, miserable. Have you heard of miserable? Yeah, miserable. Uh, like miserable. Um, being sad. You make me miserable sometimes. Feeling bad. Yes. Yes. It, or, yeah. or even the weather can be miserable outside. Like, oh, it's yucky. It's miserable outside. I don't want to go out there. Yeah, it's miserable today. I feel, I feel miserable today. 
Yes, yes. I feel crappy today. Crappy, crappy is miserable. C R A W P Y. Yes, yep. Um, a miserable, the weather can be miserable, rainy. It can be M I S E R A B L E. Hello? Okay, it's true. Merry Christmas. Hang on, Abu, just one moment. Mm -hmm. What's up? Are you outside still? Oh, okay. You can come down if you want. Where are you? Oh, you didn't even say goodbye. Okay. Okay, I'll call you later then. Thank you for letting me know. Are you coming back tonight or tomorrow? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll tell Abu hello. You're welcome, I'll talk to you later. Ma, bye. Patrick just went to his parents' house. That's okay. Good. So yes, yeah. So rainy outside means the weather is rainy. Rough outside means it's too yucky to go outside. It's rough. It's miserable. Okay. So you can use rough there. You can use stormy. Like it's a snowstorm. It's a rainstorm. It's um. It's icky. The weather is too bad to go outside. They call it stormy. Uh, I C K Y icky, right? Icky. I C K Y. Yep. Yeah. It's icky weather today. I don't want to go outside. It's nasty yes. weather. It's fall weather. Yes. It's crappy. It's miserable. Or, yes. Or you can say, I feel icky. My throat. <coughs> My head, my back hurts. I feel icky. I feel, uh, I don't feel good. I feel icky. I, you can feel. I see icky means uh, feeling icky is feeling bad. Yep. Got so it. You, you can feel icky. It can look icky. Um, an icky sound, like you can hear something and it was, oh. A car crash is an icky sound. Mm -hmm. um, or it's unpleasant. It's not pleasant. It's not good. It's unpleasant. Oh, you make it doesn't make sound. me happy. Yeah, I can say somebody. You make, uh, I can say somebody. You make an unpleasant sound. Can you stop it? Yes, yes. Pleasant. Got it. Now, pleasant, pleasant, on the other hand, is wonderful. That's great. I love that. You're so pleasant. You're so kind. You're so loving. You're pleasant. Yeah. Pleasant. So it's the opposite. Un is the opposite. It's pleasant. Pleasant. Present? Pleasant. Yep. Present tense is like la, 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 la. Oh. yes, but with the L pleasant la pleasant 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 P P L pleasant pleasant yeah uh, it's pleasant 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 a present is a gift. Pleasant yeah. is how you make me feel. Okay, please. Yes. Uh, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with you. I'm very oh, pleasant. Please, please. Yes. Got it. Yes. I know that, but I don't know how to pronounce it. So. Yes. So present is is a gift with a r er er present pleasant is l like um love love pl pl pleasant like I love you l it's play uh, pleasant so you love your mom 
Pleasant. Yep, pleasant. Yep, you got it. Pleasant. So pleasant. 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 Yep. Very good. Yeah. You make me pleasant. Yep. Right. Pleasant. Yes. Yes. Your your attitude, your presence. Um. This uh Christmas is pleasant. It's very nice. It's very um. It feels so good. Pleasant. It's yeah. still pleasant in Christmas. Yes. No. Um, present is different. Present is P R R. Pleasant. Present. Like I'm gonna give present. Um, I'm gonna give you a puppy. I'm gonna give you this puppy. This is a gift. <laughs> she is a present. That puppy is confused. So, like what happened, you know? <laughs> so um so a gift is a present p r oh it, it's it's present and it's pleasant yes present is a gift pleasant is nice yeah the words so the words pleasant it's making making me it's making me feel hard to pronounce it it's pleasant yes pleasant pleasant yes pleasant got it can can you ask yes. that can you ask your your Dr. Berg. Say that one more time. You cut out. Can you ask uh, ask your dog to bark? Oh, can you burp, Lucy? She's a lady. She won't burp. Just, just uh, <laughs> I just want to hear how they bark. He's not oh, barking at all. Burp, Lucy, burp, bark, go. <laughs> He's not angry. So burp is, yeah, burp is, it's excuse burp. me, oh, excuse me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's cough, um, <coughs> it's cough, right? That's a cough, <coughs> a burp is, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. When, when you do that, <laughs> cough is, when, you, when you do that in the morning, when you're breathing up your teeth. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And pregnant women do sometimes. Yes. Yes. Heartburn. Yes. <laughs> um. Go. So. Let's see. You know when a whole bunch. You know what a sheep is. You know what a sheep is, right? Sheep. Uh, a sheep. A sheep. Safe, yeah, the the the, the god, like god. Uh, hang on, I'll show you. So, this picture is sheep, yes, it's safe. Okay, they go in bunch, um, they go in deep, birth, and, yeah. yes, yes. So, the bunch is called a flock, so it can be a flock of sheep. Or a flock of birds. It's the same thing. A whole bunch of sheep or a whole bunch of birds, a group is called a flock. F L O C K. Flock. Oh, flock. I love this. Word. Yes. Flock. A bunch. Yep. B U N C. Yes. Yep. Got it. A whole bunch. A whole bunch of sheep or a whole bunch of birds, they call them a flock of birds, a flock of sheep. Um, a whole bunch of goats is called a herd or a herd of elephants, a herd of goats. Okay. A herd of cattle. When it's bird and sheep, then we can use flock of Birds flock. Yep. When it's god or yep. elephant, then we have to use herd. H e r d. Herd. Like a herd, herd. of yep. goats. Yep. A herd of goats. A herd of elephants. A herd of horses. A herd of cows or cattle. A whole bunch of cows. Are called cattle. Oh, so yep. except 
birds and saves, we can call herd of something, but when it's cows, then it's herd. When it when, when it cow then so a, a cows would be herd, but they also call a whole they call a whole bunch of cows. More than one cow is called cattle. C S T A T T oh, C A T T L E cattle. Okay. And more than cow. Oh, it burned. It burned. Hang on one second. Hey, stop barking. <laughs> what his name? Mm -hmm. uh, Lucy. Oh, that's, Lucy. That's a girl. Girl, yeah, Lucy. Um, a whole bunch of puppies or dogs or kittens or cats is a litter. L i t t e r. A litter of puppies. A litter of kittens. L I double T. Yep. L I T T L E R. Yep, L I T T E R. A oh, liter. Liter, yep. Come on. Um, liter can also be called garbage or trash. Like when you throw garbage out your window when you're driving in a car, mm -hmm. they call that litter, litter. So litter can have two different meanings. Throwing garbage through the window of car. Yeah, it would be litter. You litter, you throw your garbage out, that's called litter. Do you have ants? Mm -hmm. You call ants, a whole bunch of ants, an army of ants or a colony of ants? Okay, so I have four ants. So I would say this is the colony of my ants. Yes, or this is an army of ants. A whole bunch of ants is an army or a colony. Okay. Litter is more than one cat or eater. Yep. Do you have geese or no geese? What geese, is like a, a geese or a goose is like a big white duck, but it's bigger. It's called a goose. Yeah, I, I we have, we don't have, but my neighbor has has yeah just look so, beautiful when they when they swim on the on the lake or on yes. the on the pond um, yes um so you call a bunch of geese a gaggle of geese that's funny huh gaggle of geese g a g a g g l e a gaggle of geese Gaggle. Do you have, yes, do you have wolves? Like a wolf? Like a big mean dog, a wolf? No, that's, that's too dangerous, right? Yes. Yeah, they kill man. You see that? Yeah. Okay, yes. So they call a bunch of wolves a pack, a pack of wolves. Like there's a holy there's a Hollywood movie like a street ooh, um, where is Leonardo DiCaprio is the hero of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shows about yeah. the marketing entrepreneurship. 
Yes, I'm trying to think of which one that is. Um, but I, I, I'm familiar with it. Yes. I so like that. Like, more I have been poor and I have been rich. Always, I choose to be rich. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Always. I know. So it's. That's good. Gaggle of, oops. Gaggle of geese. More than one goose is called geese. G e. G e e s e. G e e s e. Mm hmm. Geese. So. Got it. And you got wool. W h w h o l e. No, no H. W O L V E S. Wolves. Wolves. Yeah. And what's the difference between wolves and fox? Fox is red and and thin. A wolf is uh, a wolf is big and angry. Uh, a fox looks this color yeah it's kind of more like between a fox is kind of a lot smaller and more between a cat and a dog yes you know what i mean i want to be in wolf people say like yeah because that mm -hmm. that, that seems very strong in 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 general. yeah yeah so it's a pack. A pack can also be like a pack of cigarettes, a pack of socks, a pack of gum. So it's a pack of olds, right? Yes. Yep. And do you have lions? Do, should I have a lion in house? They eat human. Not, right? not in the house. Outside in the <laughs> zoo, <laughs> right? Okay, okay. The I, um, the, I know the people also make bait of the lions in the in the maybe you know the in Dubai, you know in A U E. People, people like yes. people pet the lions. This looks very dangerous, don't, don't yes. it? Yes, yes. That's a lion. How can you trust in him? You feel anger anytime and can eat you. I know. Yeah. So I don't so, get the lion. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> but so a bull, mm. they call a bunch of lions a pride. P R I D E. A pride of lions. Uh, oh, I, my, my pen got. Hey, it's it's ink got in. How can I say it? It's not anymore running. It's not giving the services. It ran out of ink. Oh, it's ran out of ink. It I ran got... out of ink. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it it ran out of ink. Uh, maybe. So it was a bunch of lions, then it's pride, right? Pride, yeah, pride. Now, pride can also be how you feel. Yeah. I 
feel really good about um, helping you today. I feel proud of helping you today. You should feel proud when you help me with my internet, with my uh, funnels. Yeah, it makes you feel happy. You're proud. It's, it's proud. And it's pride. Yes, yes, yes. But pride can also mean a group of lions. A so bunch of lions. The difference between proud and pride is the, is the proud is the verb, verb two of pride, the verb past participant, right? Proud, yes. Proud is how you feel. Pride is the feeling itself. Does that make sense? Sorry. Proud is kind of how you feel. Pride is the feeling of, is the emotion. Uh. Yeah. So it's kind of the same thing. It's, it's just, um, I, I'm proud of myself. Um, I take pride in doing something. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm proud of myself for this. I take pride in myself for, you know what I mean? Okay. So it, it means. Pride something. means giving important to something. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then do you have whales? In the ocean? Whales. You know what a whale, whale is? Big fish? Yeah, which is, it's human being, right? It's whale. Mm -hmm. How do you spell it? W-H-A-L-E. So a bunch of whales is it's, a school. It's whale. Well. Yep. Yep. W H A L E. Whale. So if you have more than one whale, you call it a school of whales. A school, a school that children goes to read. Yes. Whales are very intelligent, right? Yeah. School of well. Got it. So, and then you know the difference between a noun and a verb, right? Mm -hmm. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. You can touch a noun. <clears throat> A verb you cannot touch. A verb is an action. It's something you do. It's work. Yes. Got it. Yep. So let me ask you some things. You know what an alien is? Yeah, the alien who lives out of the space in a, in a yep. different planet. And yes, yes. Yes. You know what a diver is? A diver? Diver or driver? A diver, D I V E R, is they swim under the water yeah. with the thing on their face. They a diver. Right here? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. The driver, it's it's dive when, when we just like, uh, Jump in the water. Jump. It's dive. Yes. Dive. Yes. But yep. Just dive in. Just start doing something. Yes. But a diver as a noun is the person who is diving. Okay. So if you dive into the water, we can call you a diver. Got it. So that's a noun. Okay? Mm-hmm. 
let's see. Do you know what inventor is or invent? Yeah, I know. The scientists which are making okay. new things yes. which are useful for the human being yes. is the inventor. And discovery discovery is something we 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 get to know that was ex the existence in this world already. That we just discovered that thing. But invented is we make something very new from nothing. Yes. Yes. Very good. Um, you know what a fairy is? Fairy tale, like the story of the yeah. uh, the girls with, with wing, what they are called. Fairy tale. Yes. Or oh, Cinderella. Cinderella. Or, yes. Yes. Um, yes. And you know what a mermaid is? Mummy is uh, the, the a mermaid. Mummy, mummy. Mermaid. Mermaid is the is the fish, fish in water with with human. Yeah, I have was yes. uh, uh, the 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 uh, the I have the, the little mermaid. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. The little uh, the Peter the Peter the periods of the ocean. I don't know that movie, but I loved it. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what a clown is? Crown. And the clown. King. Oh, that's a crown. You know what a clown is? A C L C L clown. I really don't know it. What is clown? C L O W N. So, clown does funny things. He puts a wig on his hair, funny uh, hair, puts makeup on his face, and he makes kids laugh. Oh, it's clown. C L O W N. Clown. Yep. So, if somebody says, Stop clowning around. That's enough. They mean quit being so silly. It's clown, C L O W N. Yes, yep. A crown, C R W N. A crown is different, right? I just feel. Yes. A crown, yep, you put on your head. Mm -hmm. Got it. So, you're right. This is a crown. C R O W N. Yep. Yep. Okay. Go so, ahead. do you know what um, a guitar is? Yeah, I have a guitar. Do you want to see it? Do you? Yeah, I do. You play wait. guitar. Wait, wait. I'm... Okay. That's like my boy's guitar. My boy plays guitar too. The bass guitar. I like it. You know what a camera is? Yeah, I have, I don't have camera. Okay, but you got one on your phone. Yeah, and um, laptop as well. You know what a Do you know what a cage is? case we put the birds under so it can't fly. Or you put the puppies in there. Yes. Yep. It's cage. C um, C C A G E. Okay, it's case. Cage. Ja. Cage. 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 Yep. Very good. Cage. 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 Yep. Cage. Kind of like a, you turn the page. Page. You turn the page in your book. Okay. Page. And then it's cage. Yep. Got it. Um, 
You know what a bucket is? Yeah. Bucket is okay. where, where, and how about, where you hold the water. Yes. Um, how about an axe? An axe? Yes. Yeah, that we use to cut the wood. Good. And the yeah. tightening in tightening you know roads roads cut the um the jack jack <laughs> I love that movie you know <laughs> okay yeah. so a hammer and a rope you know what a hammer and a rope a hammer and a rope I know hammer that's we used to used to um how can I say that. We put the we put the oh the nail nail, nail? And, and in the wall and then oh, we what? just hammer. Yes. On it. How, how can I say it in English? That's that's right. You pound a hammer. You pound a nail with a hammer. Okay, so that called a nail. The yep nail nail yep. Okay. So and you pound a nail. A I L. N A I L. And what they call that when you build something is you construct it. So you're doing construction. Okay, so it's a, like a mystery to it. Construct something, do mystery. So if you if you build a house you're constructing a house they call any type of building construction mm -hmm. and then you know what a rope yep i know rope. okay and then a ladder yep when I yes. make it like this, it's rope. Yes, yes. Okay. Very good. Um, in a key, you know what a key and a ladder is? A key in ladder? So a key opens a door to a car or a house. A ladder, you climb to get higher. I know, I know that. Mm. Yes, I know. Okay. And you know a ring? Yes. A, a ring? ring is, yeah. A ring is to give. A map? A map. Yes. We can use to find the mystery places, the sure. uh, yeah. vanished, vanished places. Uh, I can found your home. Destination. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, a suitcase. You know what a suitcase is? Suitcase, yeah. We we put our okay. we put our important things on the suitcase. We put the money. Go, yes, or or mostly a suitcase. You put your clothes in. Okay. Take on an airplane. S U I D suitcase. Yes. Yep. S U I D suit C A S E right. S U I T C A S E. Yep. Mm -hmm. Suitcase. Got it. Now you're thinking of like when you when uh, we call it a safe. S A F E is what we call. It looks like a suitcase, but it's smaller, and you put money in it and you lock it so nobody can get your money. That we call a safe. S A F E. Safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, you know what a present is, right? A gift. A gift. A present. A gift. Yep. Now, a present can also be a noun. If you say you're present, it means you're here. So like in school, you say, is a bull here? Yes, he's here. Is Carrie here? Yes, she's here. So a bull is present 
And Carrie is present. Okay, it's now. And he's here. Okay, I, I. Um, a present as a gift would be a noun. A present as meaning you and I are here. You and I are present. We're here. So in that sense, present is a verb. Mm -hmm. We're here. Um, you can also present somebody with a present. So I can give you a present and that word give can be replaced with present. So I'm going to present you with this gift. Okay. So it's spelled the same way. It sounds a little bit different. Instead of saying present, it's present. It's present and present. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I present means I'm being here. When I, yep. When, when, when I present, Pre when present, I present, which uh, yes. which means I'm giving something to someone. Yes, it's, or you're presenting a presentation, or you're presenting a um slides, or um you can call it a presentation, you're giving somebody information, you're presenting it. You're okay. either giving them, I'm going to present you this phone, I'm going to give it to you, I'll present it to you, or I'm going to present a speech. So that means I'm going to go up and tell a bunch of people all this stuff. What I'm doing is presenting something to you. If I show you how to do something, I'm presenting it to you. Okay, I'm being presented. It's mean I'm being uh, being here, and I'm pre presenting something to someone, and I am presenting a gift, a, a present. If I'm presenting a present to some someone, would be to give. Or if you give something that is not a physical thing, like. I'm presenting to you how to learn this. Okay. Does that make sense? So, so, so I'm it, teaching you, I'm presenting. You you presenting or presenting? So pre yes, so presenting can be like I'm teaching, I'm also presenting. Oh, it's does that make sense? It's presenting, presenting. Yes. It's pre pre and pray. Yes. Pray and pray. So this is these are two things, pre and pre. When it's presenting, it's meant. Okay, it's being presented somewhere. When it's presenting, then it's it's uh, giving something to someone. When I when when I presenting something to someone means I'm giving something physical, a product to some someone. When I presenting uh, information. It's presenting the information yep. to someone. And yes, very good. Yeah, go. yeah, it's confusing. Yeah, it, it's. Yeah, it's it, confusing. It, yeah, it's um, confusing because this is this is like same thing, but we have to uh, pronounce it differently according to the ut ut uh, the things. I mean, it's if if it's the product physical yeah. and it's presenting. It's like information, it's presenting. So, got it, got it. Thank God I got it. <laughs> video, right? <laughs> like that video, <laughs> that oh, made yeah. me laugh so hard. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that video. So, yeah. Um, let's see. So colors are adjectives, colors like red, blue, yellow, green. Adjective explains something like the green alligator, the red hat, the blue ball. So an adjective explains a noun. Yes. It definitely. gives the noun um it tell their quality yes okay yes yes 
So his eyes and his ears, are they big or are they little? Um, is that girl, is she beautiful or is she ugly? Those are adjectives. Okay. Mm -hmm. That boy, is that boy nice or is that boy nasty? It explains the boy. Um, is mom, is mom happy today or is mom angry today? It explains mom's emotion. So an adjective can be like a shape. Like what shape is that? That shape can be round like a ball. It can be thin like a string. It can be fat or it can be long. Um, a size of something could be tall or tiny or huge or small. Um, and then colors and then different ways of wig of moving. You can be wiggly, you can jump up and down, you can be bouncy. Um, how much you weigh, you can weigh a lot and be big or and heavy, or you can weigh a little and you can be light. So those are all adjectives. They explain something. Yeah. And then, you know, verbs are actions, right? We so, make action. Yes. Yeah, so like if you rake the leaves in the yard, you're moving. That's an action. Um, if somebody digs up dirt, they're digging. So that's action. If somebody mows the grass, it's action. Um, but you can also like went, like I went to the store. Went is not saying that I walked or I drove or I, I jumped. It's just saying I went, but I went is still an action, right? Mm -hmm. Last participant. Or, yes, or how, um, so it can be a verb can be like past, like it happened. It's happening or it's going to happen. It can be when I was little, which was a while ago, I used to be little or I went to nursing to nursery school. I went to school when I was a little girl or it can be I am, I am, I am bigger than I was before. I am is still a verb. Um, so past, present, or future. Am I giving you too much information? <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't no. <laughs> okay. Hey, if, if, if you have uh, like some work to do, it's okay. Oh, I'm fine today. I'm giving me the day off. I do have something that I might ask you a question about because I'm stuck. Um, Mm -hmm. But I can help you do this because, like I said, I'm, I'm just kind of giving me the day off today. Um, awesome. Do you know about joining words? Uh, no, I don't know the joint words. Okay, so joining to join words means to connect two words together. Okay. Okay. So, like, um, let me see if I can find one. So ever after, that's one word and two words. You can put them together and ever after, like happily ever after. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Um, And you know the difference between like capital letters and non-capital letters, like capital letters would be like, your name is Al Abul. So the very first letter is going to be capital, which is going to be big letter, right? Mm -hmm. They put big letters on holidays, on names of people, on special days, that type of thing, um, on states, capitals, um, anything that is uh, very important would be capitalized. Yes. Um, the place's name. And then imported places name yes and then periods go after a sentence to make it the end of the sentence right mm -hmm. and then do you know what a comma is yep 
when we like uh, complete a sentence. Uh, but when we use the comma. So a comma would be like in the middle of a sentence to break a sentence up. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Like the knife was long, comma, so kind of where you would put an and. So the, okay, the knife is... was long, comma, to separate. Heavy, comma, and sharp. So instead of the knife was long, heavy, and sharp, you would put the knife was long, comma, because there's a break, heavy, comma, because there's a break, and sharp. So it separates the long, heavy, and sharp. Yes. Okay, so that's what a comma is. Um, a quotation mark is if you're if you have a sentence and you want to put emphasis or you want to um, say this part of the sentence is important. So you put the brackets around certain words, which means this is important. I want you to see this. That's what quotation marks is. So uh, the quotation then, the quotation sign is like a uh, big bracket sign. Um, oh, no, no, no. Marks in this the two dot, uh, two dot, yeah, two is like two comma yes. ab above. Yep. Yes. Yeah, yes. got it. Yeah, it's quotation And mark. then a question, question mark. You know what a question at yeah. the end of a sentence? If you ask a question, you have that. An exclamation point. I use them a lot. Um, I don't know I, why, but I always. I use a lot but, as well. I use in every yeah. sentence and the end of the sentence because you know. I don't know why we but it means use that. This, yeah, I don't either, but I use it a lot. Yeah, it's um, like a surprise. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, so let me tell you about angry. What do you call Mad. that Ex exclamation? Exclamation, yeah, exclamation. Exclamation. It's, it's very hard to pronounce. Exclamation. It's because it has an L in it and you're not used to putting that L in the middle of your words, right? Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah. Like yeah. question. Question. Question, yeah. Question Qu mark. Question mark. Question mark. Yeah. Uh, am I pronouncing the right? The question? Yeah. Question. It's Q U is qua. Qua. Question. It's Question. It's question it's, it's question, right? Question. Question. Yeah. Question. Yeah. question. So question. the question. 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 Okay, got exclamation. Yeah. Exclamation. Exclamation. Yeah. Exclamation yeah. or exclamation. 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 Excla. We say cla. We don't do the I. We kind of roll over the I in that word, but it's exclamation. Exclamation. Mm -hmm. Got it. So, um, so angry. Tell me if you've heard these words. Um, remember, um, a compound word is mixing two words together. So angry would be like bad tempered, bad mm -hmm. tempered. Um, crabby. crabby. Have you heard of that? Um, yes, yeah. today. What's wrong with you? You're crabby today. Yeah, being, um, being rude, maybe. Yes, or just being like angry or short tempered, maybe. Oh, if some if if, if you ask somebody to do something and they so is temper, like they are not interested in doing that, yeah. and then yeah. they just behave Last something very what? different and unique, and then you just like, oh, you're being so crabby today. Yeah, yeah. It's... Or grouchy. Have you heard of grouchy? Okay, I never heard of it. It's crabby. Grouchy is crabby, angry, grouchy. G R O U C H Y. Grouchy. Why are Gr you so grouchy? Grouchy and crabby is the same word? Yes. Yep. C R A B Y. Or... C-R-A-B-B-Y. Crabby. 
Yep. You can say, oh, you're grumpy. Same thing, grumpy. Grumpy, G-R-O-U. G-R-U-M-P-Y. Okay. Or let's say you say, Carrie, can you do something? And I'm like, bull, no, I can't, no. Like I, I answer you before you even answer me the question. I, I kind of am like, no, like I am really quick at answering you and I'm crabby at it. That's called snappy. Well, geez, could you quit being so snappy? Snappy, S-N? Yes, S-N-A-P-P-Y. Snappy, uh, what word does it mean? Um, crabby, grouchy, quick with my words. Like you say, Carrie, and I'm like, what? What? I'm like real quick to answer you and I'm crabby about it. You okay. know what I mean? Okay, so uh, when I ask you the uh, questions again and again, and then you just get irritated, irritated, Yes, right? irritated, annoyed, snappy, quick, quick. Yeah. And you just you just feel <laughs> snappy about about me. Yes. And then yes. You, you will say me, hey. Uh, so I will say you uh, that you are being so snappy to me, or you will say mm -hmm. to me. I will say you right. You, you will, will be say. Why are you so snappy? I'll say because you're irritating me because you asked me that question three times already. Okay. <laughs> Got Does it. that make sense? Yep. Okay. Snappy. Um, another word for that is like, oh, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. Oh, yeah. F A D E. F E D and then space U P. I am fed up. I've had enough. I'm irritated. I'm annoyed. Okay. Stop oh, it. I'm uh, fed up. What is the spelling of edited, irritated? Mm -hmm. Irritated, I've had enough. No, 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 the spelling, the spelling of edited. Oh, I-R-R-I-T-A-T-E-D. I-R-R. I T A T E D. Okay, irritated, irritated, mm -hmm. irritated. It's yeah. irritated um, or irritated. Irritated, ear, almost like this, like ear, ear, irritated. Irritated, irritated, yep. irritated. Ear, irritated. Ear, irritated. Yep, I'm irritated. I'm irritated. I'm yes. very irritated. You are very irritated, Abul. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then it's the same as like, I am upset. I'm upset. I'm upset because you hurt my feelings. I'm upset because you're late. I'm upset because you're annoying me today. Yeah, got it. Okay, so annoy. Did you write annoyed? down i know it very well when somebody being yes. you know very annoying then i feel annoying like yes yeah mm, the little child you may be uh, seeing the church uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> sometimes yeah. they're being very annoying yes they can say they can also say it um Oh, you're so cross. Cross. I mean, cross. C R O S S. Yep. C R O oh. O S S. C R O cross means doing something more than limited. Like you can do bad thing as well, but not that much, right? Yes, or doing cross in the in this instance means I'm just I'm I'm fed up I'm annoyed 
I'm cross. I'm cross with you. That means I'm angry. I'm irritated and annoyed with you. Oh, I'm cross. So I, cross can't, I can't hear you anymore. I can't. I mean, I can't be with you anymore. I'm cross. Yeah. You yeah. just go home, little boy. Go home, my boy. Yes, go home, little boy. Um, if you're very, very angry, if you're really angry, you can be fuming mad. It's called fuming, F-U-M-I-N-G. I am fuming mad with you, or I am fuming right now. F that means F very angry. F U M I N G. Fuming. Say, it's fuming. I am fuming. Oh, I'm fuming right now. F U M I N G. Yep. Oh. Or you can say, I am furious with you right now. Furious. Yes. F U R I O U S. So these words mean, I am very angry. I am fuming. I am furious. Very, very angry. Yes, I am fuming. I am furious with you. Or you can say, I am livid. L-I-V-I-D. I am livid. That means I am very angry. Livid. Mm -hmm. These are verb, right? Yes. Yep. And then, um, so some opposite words, opposite words of angry would be like, oh, I'm happy or I'm pleased. I'm very pleased with you. Yeah. So th those would be opposite words of angry. Happy, it's, pleased. Yes. Excited, grateful, thankful. Delightful. Yes. Yes, yes. I just learned this for today. Delightful. Yeah. I'm very good at, at it, right? Yeah, you are amazing. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Um, yeah. I'm so amazing. I am amazing. I do believe so, yeah. Yeah. I'm from You're a incredible. school. I'm from a small village, but I still I'm talking with you from you're from America, you know. That's a dream land. Yeah. I am so proud of you, Abul. You are catching on so fast. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Am I overwhelming you? Uh maybe now um it's enough for today. No, you're not making me overwhelming, but I think it's yeah. a little, little well, this, more for me. This I'm gives gonna... you a lot. This yeah. gives you a lot to learn and go over and over and over. And you'll be like, I know yeah. you make me furious. I'm living yeah. with you. Yeah. I know what a gaggle of is, right? Yes. I'm you gonna know work. everything. I am every, no, whenever I will watch the movies and I will hear these words, I will feel really great. I mean, now I know these words very well. I mean, I just have to go, yeah, yeah once more and then I will learn all this thing. And if yeah. we go like this for a week, I will be a native. Yeah, you will. Yes. That's exciting. So that is exciting. I'm so excited yeah. for you. So let me tell you one thing. You were right by saying nada, but nay. You use the long A. Na native. Oh, it's native. Native, yep. Okay, so it's not native. And I can teach, no, I can teach you that later though. It's native. There's um each um vowel, which is A, E. I, O, and you. U. Do you know the vowels? Yep, I know them. Okay. They, they can all have different um, different ways of saying them. Like A can be sound like A or A. So native or native. And okay. in, that, in that 
circumstance, it's a long A, which is A, native. Okay. Okay. But if you an A in the word like cat, it's not cage, it's cat. The A, A, it's the A instead of the A. Mm -hmm. Now, if you put A, E at the end of cat, it changes the way the A sounds. So instead of saying cat, it's now Kate. Okay, so it's- Is that making sense? Yeah, it's E and A. Yeah, so you can, it in different sentences, it sounds differently. So you said the word spelled right, but it's a long A in that one specific word. So it's, it's native. Native, yep. Okay, so it's when it's long A, then it's native. If it's if it was a short A, then it's native. Um, not not necessarily. You just you'll pick up on these. The better you get at at that's why that video is so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Wow. Yeah. laughs> yes, because I, you don't know. It looks right, so you think you're saying it right. So you'll learn this stuff over time. You can't look at the word and know. You just have to learn it over time. Got it. So if I ever correct you in that, it's only because I know that you want to learn English. I'm not trying to make you feel like, oh, I don't know how to do it, you know? So, but yes, it's native. Got it. Got it. And that's something that you will not learn by just looking at the word. You will only learn by talking to somebody who speaks English. Yes, and, and you will help me with that. Next, yes. next, yeah. class, next class will be that specific thing because I really struggle in the pronunciation the word. Sometimes it, 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 sometimes when I talk with my clients, they can't understand me because of the pronunciation yeah. of the words. I may, right. I just, I, I just, um, uh, say the words quite sense like fifty times one client on the meeting yeah. a person yeah. didn't got that then i just messaged right. him this is what i'm he just like man i'm sorry for that i'm like it's okay it's not yeah. your fault it's my fault i right. need to learn english abu you are amazing you are incredible i could not learn another language okay. when i was a senior in high school i went to school in arizona which was a different state and they made us take a second language. Okay. So I took Spanish and Spanish is so different because we'll say, I'm gonna go to the store. And in Spanish, they turn it around and there they say in their language, to the store, I am going to go. So it's backwards. So I'm thinking, It'll be one word, one word, one word, one word, but yet the whole sentence is backwards. So you can't like compare the words as you're saying them. It's you know the same. I mean? It's the same with our is language. It? Uh, is it? Yeah, when we speak Hindi and when we translate the Hindi in English, then we have to go in, in the, from the opposite part. It's very yes. hard. It's very hard as well. Yes. Yeah, so people you I know, couldn't. So I cannot tell you how amazing you are doing and how proud I am of you because I know how hard it is. I'm 50 and I only speak English. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I so. just uh, thank you so much. I just, you know, learned this language just watching the movies, you know. I'm crazy. Whenever I just watch those movies, I just feel crazy. I just watch them like, you know, the whole week in single thing. Like when I watch the Titanic movie, I watched that maybe 50 times. I watched yeah. this, it getting it. I watched it getting it. I just like crazy. I just like Rose, Rose, Jack, Dels, Dels, all the time going on my head. What they were saying, I was saying like, I'm crazy sometimes. Right. And the same yeah. thing happening the well, Gilmore I, Bird now. Like always right. going on the loop, no, I, the row, um, 
Rory and all this thing. They speak something. And they talk a lot of sarcasm and snark and um and they call it slang. Yeah. Slang. Slang which words. Means, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, but you're even picking up on those, which is great. I'm gonna pick them up very well. I'm just um yeah. I, I need to improve basic spurts. Now, if you, if, you, if you give me the lesson like this for a month, I can be, I, I will be very good at it in English. I will. And if you ever get stuck, Abul, when you're with a client and you need to reach out to me for help, um, you can just put them on, on hold and, and get in touch with me too. Because I, I can help translate if you're, if somebody's really struggling understanding. Yeah, absolutely. I will do that uh, if I... Mm -hmm. So are you, uh, awesome. will you be available tomorrow? Tomorrow is uh, Christmas, right? Tomorrow is Christmas, yes. Um, I can be available a little bit in the morning tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, Kind of like this morning. We're not going to be doing Christmas until probably 2 o'clock. So I will be available a little bit in the morning. Okay. So we'll I'll check in with Awesome. I will send you the link first in the morning okay. because that yeah. will be like here it will be evening. And right. We'll be able okay. Awesome. Sounds good. And I'm going to see if Patrick got um, got any pictures of snow. Yeah. If, he did, if, 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 if he got, just send to me. Okay. Okay. okay and do then you have, um, um, I. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, sorry. What were you going to ask? Oh, I was just going to say, um, oh, when you are done um, recording and shutting this off, can you send me a copy? Uh, of this video? Yeah. Okay, I will send you. Okay, I love it because um, cause it'll help me too. I have thought many times, um, I've been asked if I would teach little kids how to speak English. Oh. And they don't, it doesn't pay very well. Uh, so I couldn't make a living off of it, but, but it's fun. Um, it's fun seeing people learn. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you will feel very proud on yourself when you, you, when you see that, when you see this thing that you help somebody to get their like dream come true. This is yeah. my dream to speak English like native. Yeah, I used to and say, I, I, I used to say native, but now I said native, so I learned it right now yeah. from you. So yeah. this is my dream to speak like native, and you are helping me with this, and this is like dream so come good. true. So well, you, I am so grateful, and you have yeah. done such a gift to me too. So thank you. And like I said, February first is when I'm going to be launching. Mm -hmm. And you can pray that I get people to come to come in. Um, I am also going to start doing my um, my offers for regular coaching. I'm going to meet with somebody on Saturday. So hopefully in January, I'll start doing some regular coaching. Um, and then I was going to ask you as far as would you work with people on like if they're just stuck with something like a la carte instead of just like a, a monthly thing? Um, I can do in a both way. We can do the hourly work on. Okay. Yeah. So if they need a little help, then yeah, we will do that hourly. If they need like the help regularly, then we will do the monthly. Okay. Perfect. As the need yes. of the client, we will go with that. Okay, yeah, because I, I'm assuming um, in March, I should be really picking up more. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know how long it was going to take. I've never done this before. So it's been taking a while just to get stuff it's, set up. It's and, okay. Yeah. It's okay. It takes time, you know, establishing the yeah. business and making the relationship with the customers. You know, you have to give them the value first. And making right. the business safe is stronger and stronger, and then they will come to you by themselves for the more yeah. help. So yeah, 
user is yeah, not like so, producing the contents as well, creating the videos or videos. All this. Yes. And I just watched your videos. You just you just talk some a woman, right? Yes, I have three of them out there. Uh, I don't know if you saw all three of them. I love it. Um, uh, this is where you you will make your business. Oh, thank you, Abu. Mm. This is yeah, where you I, can share in other groups. People will love to see you speaking, you know, with others and and sharing the value with each other. And people will get the value from you and your interviewer. Oh, good, yeah. good, so, good. Well, I I appreciate the feedback from you because if you see areas in which I could do better, let me know because I want to serve the people. I want yeah. to be able to help people. Yeah. Um, this is this so, is the motto should yeah. be helping people so they can do something better in their life right they can have a freedom right. in their life yeah. they just go like nine to right. five jobs they are dying inside they want to do something but they never got a chance if you help them that's right yeah uh, get rid of that nine to five job and make the living just sitting in the home they're gonna remember yeah. you forever Yes, and that's that's where my heart is. I want to be able to help people um, get over the things that they're struggling with emotionally, mm -hmm. like their um, their uh, what do you call it? How they feel about themselves, like the stuff that they're struggling with. Um, because I I feel probably I tried to get into business like in two thousand fifteen. And I think my confidence was not where it needed to be. So I was struggling. But once I think you get over feeling insecure about things and you start feeling confident in yourself, then you're at a point where you can learn things and turn it into a business. So I wanna help them with the first program. Um, my free thing is the Becoming Courageous. And then my paid program will be called Cultivate Courage. And mm -hmm. then after they go through that paid program, the Cultivate Courage, where they get their um, self-esteem up to where it needs to be, then I'm going to teach them the business side of things and how to create their own business. Sounds great. So Sounds great. I've got a plan. <laughs> yeah, this is a good plan. Like, this is a good. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna change their life. You know. Oh, that's awesome. well, yes, I will. Um, I will definitely, I know you're probably ready for bed, so I'll let you go, but um, I'll check in with you tomorrow morning. And if you want to do some more, we can. And if you don't, we'll just jump in after Christmas. Oh, it, oh it's okay, maybe, uh, because you're going to do a lot of works tomorrow, right? So, well, not not so much um not until the afternoon so like i said my morning's free so what i'll do i'll just check in with you and if you want to do some that's fine if you're like i'm still fiddling with this stuff i'm still trying to learn no, this no, stuff no. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to re revise this right after maybe after an hour and I will, okay yeah and then i will sleep sounds good well it was so nice chatting with you yeah. and working with you today great great <laughs> Say hi to Hussein. Sorry? Say hi to your brother. Yeah, he's sleeping. Okay. <laughs> All okay. right. Okay. Have a good one. Have a we'll good talk one. to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Talk to you tomorrow. Have a good Sounds day. Sounds good. You too. Bye-bye.